What's up, guys? We are back for day two of the Golf Grand Prix. We're going to be getting through here. Let's see. Uh, it should be the same club bag as last time. Let me equip this. We're going to be playing with the Guide for Ultimate Golf. And as you can see, the same fours that we had yesterday. So this is going to be your club bag. I'm on the wrong bag. I was thinking about the uh, play with the pros, so I do have to just make one switch. Should be this one. Yep. It is this bag. So this is what we'll be using. And should be some good opportunities here. As you can see a little tailwind. Make sure that you keep this ball in the fairway. That's going to be the first and foremost best way. We're playing this hole. Anytime that you uh, go offline, you'll find yourself in a lot of trouble. And you never know. Let's take a look here. I think it was, was it the Phoenix? It was not. It was Mercury. So Mercury, not going to have a lot of distance if you are in the rough. So going to be helpful to make sure. You keep the right alignment. See, here's the span of Mako. I'm not sure if I've ever spanned this club or not. It looks like I actually have. <laughs> Believe it or not. So there's 10. Here's 12. Let's call that about 12 for max. And as you can see, I'm just kind of keeping that ball guide short. Should roll out just a little bit extra. I'm going to kind of count on that. We'll do 12 for max here. Five fifty-five. Also keep in mind that there's wind jitter now. So we're trying to get the alignment. Based on a range of winds that it could be. So let me put it here. Keep it short. Go about 5.55 rings. And there you can see. Good run just over the left edge. So we played that pretty well. It just needed to be shorter more than anything. So if I would have just put that guy just a tad bit shorter... That would have took the break right into the hole. I just needed like 0.1 rings prior, and we would have probably had that one on our starting point. Just needed just a slight shift. And here you can see another wind here. We're going to almost be towards max peg here. Peg three, I think I've scoped out as well. 15 rings. Let's say we were about three. And this is going to be saying two and a half rings. This would probably be easier with a couple practice tokens. I'm just going to you know, just, you can see my setup. That's about 1.3 rings from the pin. And we'll just get our alignment down here. We're going to go about two and a half rings. Just going to eyeball two and a half. Not trying to be super precise with my calculations. Just getting a good idea. We'll see if we can't get the drop. Just a little bit light, maybe uh, a little bit off on my angle as well. You can see good opportunity there to get that one. Um, it's set up for a nice wind angle. If you can find the right Wind directional, 
You'll see a little bit of jitter in that flag now. Makes it for a little bit tougher to find that hole each and every time. So they are trying to find ways to make the game just a little bit harder. And hopefully you guys can take advantage and be able to keep it as close as possible. It's going to be all the more important to stay close to the hole. And that's where practice pins are really going to come in. And also just getting that precise number that you want to use. You know, as you can see what I did here, it's just a little bit light. So that's something to keep in mind. So maybe 2.6, just a, just a fraction, 2.55, 2.6 is going to be what you need there for that one. And again, we set ourselves up with a full max shot here, pretty close to that peg. Max club. And what did we do last time? We were a little bit maybe too far on our initial setup. So I'm going to move in just a little bit. Maybe this is 1.2 rings from the pin this time. Same 4.1. Two point two six. Maybe I'll be a little bit more precise with this count. And as you can see with the jitter, it's a little bit all over the place. So you just trying to find good range here about what we're looking for let's see what happens ultimate shot just a little bit heavy this time so trying to go just a tad bit more compared to my last shot um, and I kind of overcompensated just a touch it's just going to come down to you know one or two tick marks especially on a club with that little accuracy so best of luck with that one, guys. Try to keep them as tight to the hole as you can see. You can see I was almost 880, and that's without even a practice. So with the practice pin, try to get yourself into the 890s. Um, hopefully you guys can get that drop with the shaky needle. It's going to make it that much harder to get. So precision and really dialing in that is going to be the secret to getting through to the next round. So best of luck, and I'll see you guys on the next guide coming up.